Good they idea. is our Crimson Guard. <laughs> yep. Yes. So, unfortunately for Natalia, she's going to breathe her last breath and... <laughs> Gone. Well, well, you gotta admit, that's uh, one hell of a way to go. It wasn't really, really a thunk. It, so it, it was consumed in the fire. Yeah, it wasn't really a thunk, it was more of a fizzle. Like a fizzle. Man. How much did Natalia weigh? I need to add her to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Cut um, the weight in half because I'm thinking most of it is gone. <laughs> most <laughs> of it is gone. Uh, let me think what she had on her that wasn't flammable. <laughs> Oh, wait, she had guns. Uh, it's warp fire, everything was flammable. Well, no, th she had her last carbine, which will probably be salvageable, because you could do pretty much anything to those things and they'll work just fine. <laughs> uh, the staff was probably destroyed. Um, so she we'll had like some grenades. Kilos. We'll say like 50 kilos. Excellent. At least Although, he gave me all the I'm pretty sure the grenades would have had a 50-50 shot of going off because fire, but I don't yeah. think Ray's being that mean. No. <laughs> don't turn into a TPK from just one yeah. character's bad roll. I, uh, <laughs> I am still 100... Don't that close. I am still 117 kilograms underweight. God damn it. As an Italian, you just become your own personal, the... like, um, idol. Not idol, it's the, um... Oh, relic. No, he's just taking her back so that we can bury her, or whatever it is we do with the dead. Dead psychers? Uh, burn, you burned them. Dead psychers. But that's already taken care of. I mean, that's basically, all. he's got some ash to spread around. Yeah, but see, Knut would feel bad if he didn't take her out. Take like, her out the back and then herself. shoot her. He'd feel bad if he left her here. Well, if just open up some windows and the breeze will take care of it. So, how does uh, that fit on the uh, the uh, sheet of dead characters? One second, I'll bring up the. You mean the squad sheet? Yes, <laughs> the sheet of dead characters. The sheet of dead characters. <laughs> we are pre-dead. Oh, why is that? Why? Oh, because I'm looking well, at NPCs. Everyone. Now. Basically, <clears throat> anyone who's not me, <coughs> um, Alter, Alistair. And the stormtrooper are liable to die at any given moment. The only reason yep. Alistair isn't is because his faith in the Emperor protects him. <laughs> so yeah, accidental self-immolation. <sighs> Intentional self-immolation. <laughs> no. So, uh, Natalie, what about uh, Natalie's uh, companion? I'm not sure yet. Probably going to die horribly this session. <laughs> Probably going to get executed, right? Because he failed to do his job. Yes, he failed to execute Natalia. Oh, that's actually, yeah, that's the commissar's um, call. Why don't you yeah. use your new... No, no, uh, the companion becomes Faye's new... Uh, Oh, he becomes the servitor. Servitor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. What? That was uh, Jace, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Although it's going to take Who a little is a psycho? to get him converted over. <laughs> so, are you going to actually put that in as the uh, cause of death? Servitorization? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind wipe. Servitized. Catch it. <laughs> well, to be fair, in life, all he knew how to do was shoot people. In death, that is all he will know. Right, one second. As I save that, shut that down, open it up again. And all of us are going to be rather creeped out by the fact that. Uh... <laughs> That, that a tech priest just walked in and killed Chase and turned him into no, a... No, that's going to happen off no. screen. Oh, okay. Uh, I like that Bill is like a British soldier from like World War One. That's Victorian, you numpty. I, I, don't, I don't know... My British uniform. Now a servitor, really? It's, it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you should have changed the demeanor towards very loyal. <laughs> yeah, one second. Extremely loyal. Extremely. <laughs> the most loyal. No choice but loyal. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> J four C S three three. <laughs> oh, we have to change that now. Um, <laughs> so you're at it. Ad phase uh, demeanor as well. Yeah, what's that? Optimist. Optimist. <laughs> I'm sure things will go out perfectly fine. <laughs> Nothing bad could possibly happen. Ex oh man, that's a grayism right there. Oh. Extremely, hey. right? How how is that wrong? <laughs> the X T R E M E L Y. There's no way in it. <laughs> the spelling is hard. Don't don't bother oh, changing it. I won't. It's fine. I, I won't Too actually. <laughs> Yeah, great. You you are right. Spelling is hard, especially when you don't have a spell checker. Yeah, that's the problem with Photoshop. <laughs> Whoops. <coughs> okay. Ignore the terrible things that have happened. <laughs> yeah. What time? Thanks. We are doing our job. <laughs> okay, so you've managed to source out. Uh, the police station, oh. although you didn't manage to capture uh, the body. I'm uh, feeling very optimistic Jace about token. this. Hmm? Oh, that's just amazing. Oh yeah, I need to change Jace's token as well. <laughs> one second. Uh, I'll, I'll do that one talking. Um, you still have a few problems, as in the fact that you know the population hates you and... Uh, there's a huge number of enemy troops walking towards you. Yes. Oh, right, yeah. I'm we supposed to be providing fire support for that. Not for what we just did. <laughs> well, Wait, are the dancing ogren still around? I'm pretty sure they'll they be around take some my, uh... company alone. <laughs> God. <laughs> what happened to Jay? They're busy pacifying a mob or something. <laughs> Yeah, they, they'll uh, be off fighting in their own little part of the um, city. A mob that probably formed a really strong <laughs> police station. A mob that is still kind of confused as to what the fuck just happened. Yeah, the last thing they knew, you were peaceful overlords, then you started rounding up all the civilians, and now you just attacked the police station. And there's been a lot of screaming and fighting and like smoke rolling out the front door. Don't worry, the smoke was totally accidental. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit of crisped uh, skin as well. Yeah. <laughs> Although they're not aware that that's actually not their prob uh, problem. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. So. Kind of a pity that we can't share drawings and stuff. What do you mean share drawings? Oh, I'm just looking at the maps and stuff, and it has a bunch of the drawings that we've put up. Like the Zerzan, uh... Oh. I, I'd have to, like, um, share it again. Yeah, I'm just looking yeah. at it, wondering why we can't do that. Oh, well. Uh, it's just linked to me, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably. Anyway, back on track, what's your plans? Things are going bad. Well, Sergeant, what do you uh, what do you think we should do? Turns to Ogren. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone going to dissuade you from this idea, <laughs> or are you just going to let him make a fool of himself? <laughs> I'm not saying a word. <laughs> Sam just just face. Palms. I just find it funny. <laughs> so Sam just just face palms so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
We need to find the chief of police and kill him. A sound plan. We also need to kill the company and the armored uh, company coming towards us. I agree. Also sounds like a plan. Commissar, ideas. <laughs> we probably can't do both of them at the same time. Okay, outside you're going to hear the sound of a Valkyrie coming in. Hmm. Knut can fly those. No, he can't. He might think he can, but he can't. He has operated aeronautica. <laughs> oh, fantasy flight, why do you do this? Because <laughs> <laughs> it goes off agility, doesn't it? Not intelligence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does. So, somebody who can't technically read is actually a <laughs> capable flying a Falcon. <laughs> I'm and pretty darn know, capable. I can probably I make a good chance of flying a spaceship as well. And you know that as soon as he gets in it, he's going to start playing Flight of the Valkyries by Richard Wagner. <laughs> do we have a copy? That's standard well, issue. This is, well, well, the, <laughs> the Imperium is Catholic space Nazis. I think they would like no one better than Richard Wagner for music. Yeah. Basically. Right, so outside uh, is another one of the Bashuran ones, which is depositing a tech priest. Oh. Just one tech priest, which seems a bit odd that they sent the entire Valkyrie just to send one extra person. So, this is, of course, uh, say, if you haven't already figured that out. Knut is going to praise the Omnisire for finally having a tech priest. Yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, I don't actually have Jace yet, though, so... No. no. Next time's some downtime. We'll, we'll just say you have got Jace for mechanism. You know, for Jace is hiding in the corner. For the fa for, for mechanisms at this point, you know, I've got Jace, but yeah. At some yeah. horrible point off screen, something not very nice is going to happen to Jace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, Faye, um, it's a character, has been sent here by Macarius. Personally? Q fangirling. Well, semi-personally. Macarius' is order was sent, send a um, tech priest to this place. Q right. the entire squad turning into um, so? fangirls. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you guys have been having a couple problems. Uh, if you turn uh, around, you'll probably see those problems, yes. Knut's going to turn around and point to the uh, Psyker on his back. <laughs> I was going to say, Knut's probably smelling very badly of burnt flesh and, <laughs> and, and smoking. That's just how ogrens smell to begin with, though. They usually don't <laughs> smoke, though. <laughs> you haven't seen many ogrens, then. Well, they usually crush the cigar. Uh, they chew on it. Yeah, I do see Ogres as more chewing tobacco than like fine cigar tobacco. <laughs> chewing tobacco, except they don't understand chewing tobacco and they chew the cigar. Yeah. They, they don't spit, they just swallow. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Uh, okay, um, the, the mission that you've been given here, Faye, yeah. is to uh, acquire something from Macarius. Something they're fairly certain is going to be coming in your direction soon. All the vehicles. Oh Christ! Is the bane blade isn't there? Yes, they think there's a bane blade oh. in this area. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> How the hell did the Letrians get their hands on a bane blade? How did they get their hands on a titan? Now, where in the world am I going to get a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Electrine does seem to have a lot of like old tech hanging around. Well, not a lot of, but enough to, you know, make it valuable. Obviously, it's not had many wars. It hasn't got blown up in the intervening centuries. Yeah. So, so is it we're time to go punch a blade, blade sometime in the next couple of days? Hours. Minutes. No, I said about two hours last week. 
Oh, about two hours. Okay. <laughs> You've probably spent a half months, an hour so or so beating up you. Uh, reacquaint yourself with tank boarding procedures. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, run away. Yeah, uh, everyone, take oh. out your Imperial Guardsman's uplifting primer so we can go mm -hmm. over the tank, uh, tank taking uh, procedures. Wait, Nate. Uh, Step make one. sure right. to memorize who the. Who has uh, the uh, big stick and who has the giant crate and action. who has the tank treats? Yeah, make sure to memorize <laughs> the um the uh you know the enemy boarding litany so you will be a uh, guide in all of your actions. Yes. Step one of Bash's wonderful tank busting. Take shot. Take multiple shots, indeed. <laughs> Just keep shooting. Aim for the flat bits. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of shots, but that also works. <laughs> you know, truth be you told, we really Macarius, didn't drink he gets all his that hands much. On this tank. Um, you know that Macarius, once he gets his hand on, hands on that tank, he's going to... Uh, Remove the bottom and replace it with plexiglass so that uh, he can see their faces when he runs them over. God. <laughs> what faces? That's the point. Sick fuck. That's a little more morbid than I was expecting. <laughs> New heights reached today. Wow. You say heights, I'm pretty sure you meant lows. I'm yeah. getting confused. I've spent so long around you that I'm getting confused. <laughs> After a while, the peaks in the troughs merge into one sustainable, awful average. Hey, How just you know so you know, doing today? the moment that I hit rock bottom, I'm going to grab a pick and start digging. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the people with the jobs of uh, knocking at least one of the treads off are going to be in the most danger because they're going to be <laughs> on the sides of the things instead of behind it. So that should so be do you me and new, so. new, right? Where do you want me? I've got crack missiles. Well, the crack uh, missiles are going to be necessary for this. I have a shotgun and Because a for this to work, stuff. we need the thing to throw a tread. Probably don't want to do uh, too I'm much more scared about what Macarius will do to us if we deliver it damaged. Oh, Not it's much. fine. I'll be able to fix it. it. <laughs> Considering his tech use, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably look at it and then just go shrug. <laughs> To look at it, shrug, and go, it's fixed now. Yep. <laughs> Just duct tape it and get the WD-40, and there you go. You grease it up and fix it. Yeah. Duct tape, WD-40, a bit of machine spirits, and a bunch of punching. I'll be able to get the hatch in, and the interior of a bane blade will survive a few frag grenades, so if we can get on the thing, we should be able to deal with it. Awesome. The problem is getting on. <laughs> well, the Speaking hey, mission. think about it. Uh, what do you all have on your backs? Uh, Jump packs. Hot shot ice gun ammo right now. We just drop on the thing. Technically, that, technically mine's on Knut's back as yeah, well. Mine's in a locker right now. <laughs> oh, so is mine. I love mine back at base. Wait, I have an idea. We can set the last. Uh, we can set Natalia's last carbine to overload and just drop it into the tank. That only works with plasma. No. Oh, I'm wrong. I really, I, for all the things no, that I have listed in my locker, you can make frag grenades out of Luz Carbine. I totally like, have grab shoot listed on Canute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think Canute offered to carry the ball. I think Knut he has so many like wings. He has all the will now. never, ever, ever fall. Ever. I have a ever. newfound appreciation for the sergeant. I didn't know. He hovers now. Knut Yes, <laughs> he just kind of floats over the ground. He does. He hasn't actually realized it yet. <laughs> <laughs> he moves up Magus from uh, from Magus out of uh, Chrono Trigger. Just kind of floats he's, along. He's just Can waiting we... for the hangover to kick in. He <laughs> physically cannot walk downstairs since it is a controlled fall. <laughs> He has to get to a point where he, he kind of gets to the end of the stairs and he just gently floats down. Or <laughs> just kind of pushes off the ceiling. Like a graceful or group ballerina. So the idea is that we do an airdrop onto um, a band blade? That sounds yep. like an awesome idea. Yeah, after immobilizing the thing. 
if we can. Yeah, sure. And I don't think the Valkyrie took off yet, so they can actually drop us on them. Yes. Oh. Well, that'd make us a big old target. So I was thinking we'd get on some buildings and just drop on it. Does no one just attack tanks while their crews are sleeping at night anymore? The point is they they're coming here. They're going to be here in two hours yes. attacking the town yeah. to root us oh, out. Fair enough, then. Canute is okay with jumping off a building, so let's find a big building to jump off of. Man, Should we, we not be mind the roads deal if they're sending anyway. a Bane Blade over here to root us out. Yeah, is it just a Bane Blade yeah. or is the support vehicles? Couple of infantry. So it's actually a Bane Blade plus some infantry. Well, some being like five or six platoons, yeah, depending on the composition of the company. If we take that Bane Blade, I think we can take the pl- platoon really having five easily. or six squads. Yeah. I can drive it <laughs> once we get it. So, you know, we're, we're a little bit outnumbered. A little bit outnumbered, a little bit outgunned, but we have them. We have the faith in the Emperor. Yeah. Well, we can't lose. Our faith in the Emperor protects us. It'll be fine. It's a bang blade. They're not going to be expecting an infantry, an infantry charge from above. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be an infantry charge from that. above. <laughs> It's not something I thought I'd hear. Oh, fuck. I, I do like it when you guys provide uh, episode titles so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance of fire support on this, by the way? Something like local HE, just to clear off the infantry? Canute is fire support. Yeah, they're not yeah, sending you anything you else What are you talking like about? <laughs> I'm fire support. Well, I was just in here to uh, inform the advance guard, which you guys are, of uh, what we're going to be doing when the enemy force gets here. And we basically have to grab the thing and then survive with it until our reinforcements get here. I'm pretty when sure we can take the rest getting of here? I like how in the two sessions right. since the Rattling Sniper joined us, it has been tight close quarters combat and yeah. assaulting armor. <laughs> yeah. At least there's a bit more room. The Rattling. <laughs> So I, yeah, I was actually I, I was actually thinking kind of staying on the building and you know shooting people of importance. <laughs> yeah, probably. A well, yeah, yeah that once the gun, I mean, if the guns, a, you know points at you and this, the whole if building the commander explodes. pops out of the cupola and you pop them, they won't be able to close the thing, so I won't even have to rip it off. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying though, if they try to destroy the building you're on, rip. Well, that's why I carry. Small that's, hill bounce. That's why. I, <laughs> that's why I will carry the graph. The graph. Are rattlings like cats? They can survive their own terminal velocity. It's okay if he falls <laughs> off the building. I can shoot his comrade in the head, and he'll jump back up. <laughs> <laughs> I also have cat fall. Remember, we all have that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And you don't. Is that your agi just- bonus times three? You're in you two or. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's your edgy bonus times three meters, isn't it? Uh, cat fall. Whoa, it. that that'd be a lot. I can fall for twelve oh, meters straight down and not take damage. Agility bonus yeah. number of yeah. meters. Yeah. And given that with the drop shoot, it's just your degrees of failure in meters that you fall if you fail. You're yeah, no. not going to take a whole lot of fall damage. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm probably not going to take almost any fall damage because I will be having my grab shoot on me. <laughs> well, yeah. And I mean, Knut's going to have two unless we stop to drop Natalia off at like but, uh, somewhere. And even then, he'll probably just keep Natalia. <coughs> Wait, I don't think. Actually, outside of a crit fail, I don't think I can actually take damage. Oh wait, with the with the drop shoot, it's. Two for every degree of failure. Do you like tempting it's, fate? No, 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 I do not. <laughs> I'm sure he oh, meant with the guys. Every degree of failure. Then yes, no, I can. fine. Yeah. I didn't roll doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Sound familiar? Yes. It was just while I was re- recording the session. It's like, oh, we could have wish you had said that. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <sighs> right. So. Let's Shall give we? you another map. Another one of my terrible specials. Bring up a close combat map. <laughs> Let's have that. Whee! 
So as you can guess, this is quite a large scale map. <coughs> For reference, give us one of our little guys on there. Well, we have the grid now, so we know. Grid. And this is actually well, five feet. Gonna be like... So each box is five feet? Yep. Or should we call it in... Is it you're, t you're talking feet? What, what's, what's with this? We're talking meters, man. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be you one know, meter each. The like, grim yeah, five, five meters is probably more realistic. It's measured in metric. Yeah, five, you know, five it's, meters. It's interesting that the Imperium doesn't use the Imperial uh, system of measurement. Yeah, it's true. It may They're be British. barbaric and uncultured, but it's not that barbaric and uncultured. The Mechanicus would never, ever, ever accept it. The Mechanicus would never, ever tell anyone the secrets of metric. They thought everyone else used the Imperial. I no, 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 like because that, everyday uh, that would be blasphemy on so like, many levels. Like, I'd love it if only the Adeptus Mechanicus used, like, Imperial measurements. <laughs> and that's why they're the only ones who know how anything works, because it's actually in a different unit of measurement. Yeah, yes. whenever, like, any of the uh, normal systems of the Imperium try and, like, plug anything into a wall, it's like, what? Like, two centimeter plugs doesn't out. work. That's because it it's a third that, of an inch uh, plug, motherfucker. <laughs> for things to work, you have to use base 10.3 for whatever reason. <laughs> Which fucks with no. everything. No, everything is in base 16. It's all in hexadecimal. Oh, fuck. Baby. No, no. no <laughs> I, I'm terrible at using anything other than base 10. Base 16 is fun. Actually, just ancient Akkadian, it's base 60. <laughs> <laughs> so, imminent combat with a main blade. <laughs> and we're talking about techno theology. <laughs> Don't you just love this group, Gray? Why am I no. not with my sergeant? I'm moving over there. I say you can get yourselves all set up as much as you want. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which building means I'm gonna die less often. You don't all yeah. have to be in the same I, two buildings, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty I, much I just sticking it. with the tech priest, just so you know. I you know, I'm thinking about it, thinking, thinking about it, Oop. your comrade can be on the other building if you want, because our cohesion range is so huge. Uh, it's 15 meters, and each square is 5 meters. 5 oh. meters? That's, That's some big-ass squares. It's a big city. Yes, it's, it's yeah. just, this is kind of more strategic than like normal. Oh, okay. Do you really want to talk about having 30, too much like close combat? 40, 45, 50, 55, uh, 60, if you go 65, to your points, 70. you can get a draw arrow, which will give you a distance. Just have to convert feet to meters. I'm pretty sure you can just ignore the symbol at the end. Yeah, I think it just assumes each square is five. Yeah, that's why I'm saying five meters, just to make it easy for people. Me. You know, on a side yeah. note, I'm I'm really glad that they put they decided to put the bane blade into Korvok. Yeah. Yeah. I like the exclamation mark. <laughs> the bane blade. Uh, I've I've got that stuck in my head. I'm gonna have to rewatch the uh, Dawn of War two let's play. Does anyone have tech use? Yes. Hi. So. I would like some frag grenade trip mines to split up the infantry a bit. All right, I don't mind helping. I don't I think that's just ten pay. Get rigged up that quickly. So let's. Well, are you going to have time to set that kind of thing? You got an hour. Yeah, we have a yeah. lot. I suppose, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I need to actually expand the map for myself. Uh, move I'm my thinking computer. at the <laughs> 55 line to the south of that building and... Oh yeah, I can actually start shooting at these guys right now. The 35 line there. So Versus 80. Disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's like 
How the fuck do you have it so high? <laughs> well, I bought it up to plus 20, and then I have a combi tool in the form of my Omniscient Axe. So I get a plus uh, 10. Right. I, I love how your axe is a combi tool. You know, not, it's like your Swiss Army axe. Uh, the, the end of it opens up. Actually, I'm also, I have we are a plus in the wrong buildings here. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to be on the edge, I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, it's the only, it's the only one we, we know that they're going to go to down. These buildings here, we close off the two side roads with frag grenade trip mines. 